after it happened. I couldn't believe it. All I did was cry. I couldn't even stand to look at my own daughter. The doctor said I'd be alright, but I was bound to feel like that for a while. I kept thinking I was seeing Martin, you know, in the streets. Every morning at six or so, I'd be standing in front of the old houses, calling him. I was real crazy. Every time I saw a small blonde lad in a blue anorak, I would run and I would shout, Martin! There were so many little lads in blue anoraks. I couldn't stand seeing any of the little lads. I said, um, my sister's got five. Why couldn't one of theirs have been taken? Well, some of them neglected kids. My, um, my husband, he, um, he cried after it happened. But he won't talk about it now. And he won't have anybody talk about it in front of him. I think he just can't bear to. We shan't have any more kids. I don't think one can replace a kid that's dead. Talk like, you know, really talk. All I can do now is it's the only way I can stop the depression. Can't stand it. I'm not a family anymore. We were before, my wife will tell you. We're not a family anymore. We talk, but we don't say anything. I know something my mum said about your mum. What? Shall I tell you what my mum said about your mum? Hell is day. My mum says that your mum's on the game. What? She said that to you? No. I heard her say it. She was saying it to me dad, I think. Well, so what? I don't think she told anyone else. I don't care who she says it to. So is she? Is she what? On the game, your mum. Well, what if she is? It's her business if she is. I hate her anyway, so I don't care what she does. I hate my mum as well. What do you hate your mum for? Oh, everything. My mum hates me, so I hate her. My mum hates me as well. I love my dad, though. So do I. I mean, my dad. Well, he's all right, better than my mum. Do you hate your teachers? Some of them. Some of them are nice. I like my teachers. I like my teachers. Some of them. We, ha we have to go to different teachers all the time. I get to stay with my teacher. I wouldn't like to go to lots of teachers. Oh no, I get mixed up which lesson it is. I don't want to go to lower school. Oh, you'll have me to look out for you. I might not end up in your school. What I want is to go to a school that were far away, where you didn't have to come home. Where you could sleep? Yeah. Where you could have your own room. Yeah, but you might have to share. But only with girls though. Oh yeah, in the countryside. Yeah, near a farm where you could go up and feed the animals. <gasps> and they could have horses, and you could have your own special horse to look after. Yeah, I'd like that. Is your man really on the game? <laughs> Shut up about my man, will you? You know what? Some mothers don't deserve to have children. Did you see Apache last night? Yeah, I watched it with my dad. Did you see that bit where he was in jail and he whistled his horse over to the bars and then he fastened the string round the bars? Yeah, and, and he got his horse to walk backwards so he pulled the bars right out the wall. Yeah, if I was ever in jail that would be a great way of getting out, getting your horse to help you. Those horses are specially trained to do things like that. We could specially train them. 
Yeah, I suppose we could. Norma? Yeah? What if we were really in jail for something? Would you ever split on me? No, I'd never split. They could do what they like to me. I'd never split. Because my dad says that's the only way people get caught. Because somebody always snitches. Not me. Never. No, I'd never split either. Should we make a pact now, never ever, to split on each other? Yeah, I promise. No, making a proper pact that so no matter what happens, you can never break it. Well, how do you make a pact? You've just got to Song's promise that no matter what, as God is your witness to help you God, you will never ever tell on the other person. I do. And so do I. Is that it? Yeah. We've made a pact now and we can never break it. <gasps> Should we spit on our hands and shake? I seen it on a film once where they spit on their hands and they shake. No. <laughs> no. What's better? What's better is blood brothers. Only we're yours, it'll be blood sisters. We've already got the same second name. What do you have to do? You've got to mix your blood. How do you do that? You just make a little pinprick in your finger till some blood comes. Then you put your fingers together till the blood mixes. Will it hurt? Only a bit. Hold your hand out. Ah! Now me. Now we join them together. Now, if I would have wanted to kill anybody, then I would have wanted to kill my mother. Again? Again? You think I've got nothing better to do than deal with yourself? You filthy old girl! This is your fault! Come over here. I said. Come over here. Come over here and listen to what I've got to say to you. Come here and listen. You think you got it hard, don't you? You think I'm hard on you, don't you? You don't know ah! what hard is. When I was pregnant with you, I was sent away to a convent. Listen to me now. Because of the shame. Because of the shame of that. And then none to hide. You don't know how hard them hands were. I had to cook, clean, scrub, work from morning till night, pregnant with you was, and down on my knees scrubbing flies. Well, that's how it was. That's how it was, the Catholic girls who had the child out of wedlock. What I have been through, you will never imagine. You think I didn't have my nose rubbed in it? I had my nose rubbed in it worse. Much worse. I tell you this. Jesus. He was only nailed to his cross. Me. I've been hammered to mine. Look here. Look. At the result of all my suffering, you are good for nothing. You won't be looking up, you do. Shut away from sight. Oh, get out of my sight. I can't stand to look at you. I wish I could have got out of the side. I wish I could have got sent away. So all I ever wanted was to get sent away. Not like this though. Not like I am now. 
You know something? I haven't wet the bed here once. Not once. And with Norma, well, I don't think she was a bedwetter. But you know what I said about Norma being a crybaby? Well, she wasn't like that with me. She was tough, acted tough. She picked fights, coloured kids. I, I don't know where she got it from, but she didn't like them. And one of her brothers were handicapped. And if she thought anybody was making fun of him, straight away she'd be, put your jukes, put your jukes, and she'd lay into him. Once before, before all what happened, we were getting ourselves into trouble with the police. Did the policeman see you? Did they see you? Yeah, a policeman came to my house and I had to give a statement. I gave a statement? What did you say? Uh, just that we were playing, you know, and we seen him and he was bleeding and we tried to pick him up, then we shouted for the man and the man came and took him into the pub. You didn't say anything about him following us though? No, of course not. Just that we seen him. I said the same. You didn't say anything about the factory though? Only that we were playing in the car park. It was his fault for following us anyway. You told him to go away. He shouldn't have been out there playing on his own. He was spoiling it for us. I kept telling him to go home, didn't I? He kept telling him, but he wouldn't go. It, it wasn't hurting much anyway. <laughs> it was funny though, wasn't it? What was funny? When you pushed him and you said, bugger off. Well, he kept pestering us, didn't he? Bugger off, he said. And you let him drop over the edge and he rolled all the way down. He didn't really hurt himself. Just because there's blood doesn't mean you're really hurt. I've cut myself loads of times. So have I. And there's been lots of blood, but you're not really injured. It was soft, he had it coming. Are we going to try and do it again? Do what? Break into the factory. No, we'll have to wait now. We'll have to wait till the heat dies down. It's what they say if you get questioned by the police, but there's no evidence and they can't pin anything on you. You have to wait till the heat dies down. Right. Well, what do we do next when the heat dies down? We could break into the nursery. Break into the nursery? That's good. I could do that. But we'd have to make a plan first. But what if we get caught? What do we do if we get caught? What if we do? But, but will we get arrested though? Will we get arrested? Well, they'd have to send us away then, wouldn't they? But won't we get into a lot of trouble? I don't care if I get into trouble. No, neither do I. We'd be outlaws. We could go on the run. Anyway, we won't get caught if we don't snitch on each other. Yeah, we should do everything together. When are you going to do something? What do you mean? I mean... Why is it always me? When are you going to do something really bad? I mean, on your own, something that you've thought of. But you're the leader. You're supposed to do things too. You're supposed to think of things too, to make it equal. Well, I have done bad things. I've run away. Have you? Twice. Where'd you run to? South Shields. If we ever need to go on the run, I know a place where we can hide. Do you? Yeah. It's this big old house and there's a man there who likes me. And it's this big old house and it's got lots of rooms and a kitchen. We can cook if we want. The man will let us do what we want. How old is he? I, I don't know. He gives you a bath and then he puts butter on you and then, you know, he puts it into you. He puts it into you? You know. Do you like that? It's all right. So you see, I have done bad things on my own. Funny that, Norma tell me about that man in South Shields. But well, I could have told Norma. I did. Only, I never told. Never told nobody about what my mum and dad would do. Never told nobody. Never. Hey, don't blow me about. You're not a piece of meat, you know. You've got a nice bit of rump on you, I'll give you that. Take none of that, now. We don't come back here for kissing and canoodling. Oh, I 
a bit of kissing and canoodling. Well, you can kiss and canoodle with your wife. I hope it's a hard face. Listen, I haven't got time for that. So what are you looking for? And don't mess me about. Hear this. Hear this. Hear that. Hear the other. All right. Here you've got Do something. You want a lot here? Extra special. Your extra special customers. What's that to do with you? It's all right. I know the score. You've got a wee bairn, haven't you? So where have you got it hidden? What do you want to see it for? It's what I'm here for. It's what I want. It's what I came for. It'll cost you 50, you know that, don't you? Well, 50 is nothing. So I've been like, oh, I'm loaded. So come on. The dog see the rabbit. Where is she? Alright then. But you'll not pay the cheat of mind and not have that, you understand? Whatever. She'll wank you and you can come in her mouth, but that's yeah. it, alright? Whatever you say. Get it out of here. Me? Me, come down here, though. When I was older, about six or seven, she'd just take me to rooms where old men live. Just leave me there. They'd touch me and rub themselves in that. She wasn't daffy, ma'am. She always made sure I was still, you know, so that nobody would be able to tell. And with me, she made sure I wouldn't ever tell. I knew if I told, she'd kill me. When I was little, she says to me, if I ever told anything, I'd be taken away and locked up. No, not in a children's home. No, well, that would have been a release. She said I'd be taken away and locked up in a concrete sentry box. There was a concrete sentry box at the beginning of the time bridge. And we'd pass it all the time, and of course I really believed her. I believed I'd spend the rest of my life locked up in a concrete sentry box. If I ever told anything about what she made me do. See that box, Steve? You see that box? Well, look at it. Look at it! So if you go tell anybody any silly stories, that is where you're going to get popped. Because that's what they do with little children. Don't give them a shot and do as they're told. So think on. I never told Norma. I never told anybody. I just kept it locked up inside. Do you know when I, I told you about that man in South Shields? You do know it's a secret, don't you? My mum doesn't know. Of course I know. So you won't tell her? Of course I won't. Don't you remember? We're blood sisters. That means we can't tell. That means we mustn't ever tell. That was our pact. I remember that, Scott. Norma, you know in your house, how do you all eat? What do you mean? 
with there being so many of you in that little house? Oh, we at different times, we can only get six around the table. Oh. My mum says I shouldn't play with you anymore. She says you're a bad innocence on me. A bad innocence? Don't you mean a bad influence? Yeah, a bad influence. But she can't stop us from playing together. No, I play with who I like. <coughs> you're my best friend. And you're my best friend. No, do you want to do something for a day? Of course I do. What if I was to dare you to walk along the pipes of the time bridge? Would you do that? Pipes of the bridge? The pipes that go along the outside of the bridge, would you dare? Mm. When? Now, this afternoon. Mm. What if someone sees me? Well, that's part of the dare. Okay. Well, I'll do it if you do. All right, then. Right. Nobody did to us. Nobody saw anything. A lot of the time the policeman came round after my mum had given me and my brother a beating. Nothing happened though. Lucky for us, a lot of the time my mum was back up in Glasgow on business. We used to call it, my mum's away on business. And I was looked after by my dad. Which wasn't so bad. I wish now I could have told my dad. Come here, mate. What's bothering you, lass? You look like you've lost a pound and found a penny. I had a fallout with Norma. You fell out with Norma? We had a fight. Just a little fight. And what was this fight about? She said I strangled her sister. Strangled her sister? Had you strangled her sister? Not really. We will just play fighting. What's with all this fighting, mate? You don't need to be fighting all the time. Big girls pick on me. Well, Norma's sister's not a big girl, she's just a weak bird. I know, but the big girls pick on me. But that's no reason to go taking it out on kiddies younger than yourself. Listen, mate, if any of them big girls go picking on you again, you just tell them they'll have me to answer to, okay? And that goes for anybody. If anybody ever lays a finger on you, they'll have me to answer to, my God, they will. You're my little beauty, you are. My bonny little beauty. Dad, why do you always go away when Mum comes back from her business? Ah, well, me and your mum, we don't get on so well when the both of us are under the same roof. You know how it is. Sparks fly. I wish you'd stay more. Ah, I'd like to. It's best if I make myself scarce. Your mother prefers it that way. Ah, it's like we're two scolded cats in a cardboard box. Anyway, you've always got your Aunt Yordi just over at Raw. Did you ever need to get out from under her feet? I know it's difficult. I know you've got to be careful around your mum. Best if you not take too much notice of your man's moods. So her nerves, you know. She's not well. She's had a hard life as your man. There's a lot you don't know about. Let's just leave things be as they are. I think if my dad had known what my mum had done to us, I think he would have killed her. I think he would. When I put that sand down Pauline's mouth in the sandpit and the police came round and warned me and Norma about our future conduct, well, when I was hurting Pauline that day, it was like I was all in a rage and I couldn't help myself. I, and it was like the same on that day, the 25th of May, one day before my birthday, when I'd have been 11. My mum had sent me to the shop that morning for a brush. And when I got there, I didn't know if it was a whole brush or brush head she wanted. And I was too frightened to go back and ask. And I thought it was a broom she wanted, so I went back with that. And she got the long bit out that goes into the brush and beat me with me. And I, I ran upstairs into my brother's room to hide under the bed and she was poking at me with it. And I grabbed onto the end of it and she dragged me out hanging onto it. And I said, you whore! And I punched in the stomach and she hit me and hit me while I raced down the stairs. And, and then I was out. That was the first time I'd ever stood up to her. 
First time I called her a name or it back. Later on, about ten past three, I picked up little Martin Brown. At quarter to four, I went round to Norma's to tell her there'd been an accident. Norma, Norma, come here quick! What is it? There's been an accident. Little Martin's had an accident. Martin? Little Martin Brown, he's had an accident. Where? What accident? In the old houses. How do you know? I've seen him. Come and look. He's still there now. You, you, you can come and look if you don't believe me. What happened to him? He, he fell or something. He's just lying there on the floor. Lying there on the floor now? Can you see him? You can see his body in the upstairs room. Is he still there now? He's lying there. Dead. He's never dead, is he? Not really, not proper dead. I think so. And you found him? I did it. What? I did it. You didn't. I did? It, it was just an accident at first and then... I did it. It was me. Show me. We went to the old house. But by then, some workmen had discovered the... Norma. I don't think Norma really believed I'd done it. I don't think I believed it, because life went on. Everybody said it was a tragic accident. Nothing happened. I remember Norma was starting to get on my nerves. Look what I've got. Did you pinch it? No, I found it. Did you buy it? Well, I pinched it from my dad's pocket when he weren't looking. I'll share it with you if you want. Oh, yeah, thanks. Have you got a match? No, I thought you'd have one. You can't light it without a match. Oh, sorry. I'll keep it safe for later. Go and ask that man for a light. I don't like No, it's always me. It's always me that does everything. You ask him, go on. and it doesn't bother how young you are. Do you know what everyone's saying? What everyone's saying about Martin? Everyone's saying that it was an accident. That little Martin fell through the roof or swallowed some tablets by accident. Well, everybody doesn't know, do they? Ah, uh, you didn't really do it, did you? You just found him. I wish I had told you now. No. No, you can tell me anything. I tell you everything. You weren't there. Don't look at me like that, mate. It's not my fault I weren't there. If you'd have been there, would you have helped? Well, I don't know what happened, do I? Or would you have just stood there? Would you have just stood there and cried? I wouldn't have cried. No, you wouldn't have done anything. It's only me that does anything. You just say you're going to do things and then you don't do anything. We were supposed to do everything together. Only you don't do anything. You're a traitor and crap, even I hate you! I didn't mean to kill him forever. I just thought I'd get taken away. I strangled him, but I thought, that plain dead, I thought, I'm not really hurting you. I told him to put his hands on my neck. 
and I put mine on his. I thought, I must have thought, he'll come round, you know, you'll come round. You'll go to sleep and then you'll come round. You'll come round. Come round in time for tea. It's just a wee bed. I robbed him from his family. Nice little kid. My nice happy family.